When Johnny Depp was cast as the demon barber of Fleet Street in Tim Burton's new adaptation of Sweeney Todd, he had to first learn how to use a razor, and where better than at one of the finest barbers in the world. We're here at GOF Trumper today in London to learn more about the art of shaving. Depp to become an expert with the cutthroat blade was Camille Ozturk, head barber at George F. Trumper and technical advisor to Warner Brothers. GOF Trumper specialises in grooming products and services for men. It is one of the longest established barbers in London and Camille Ozturk has 24 years of shaving experience to his name. Even today, GOF Trumper offers a traditional wet shave with an open razor, the kind employed by Sweeney Todd to take care of his customers. But the shop also offers a shaving school, where gentlemen are taught one-on-one -on -one the fundamental principles of shaving. So what then are the steps to expert shaving? The steps involved in getting good shave is lots of hot water, lots of moisturising lotion, or as we call it, the Trumpers call skin food. So you moisturise it into the beer, and that softens the beer. Then we place another hot towel on, and then we lava with a badger shaving brush. And one of the reasons why we use badger is because badger retains heat and warmth. So it makes our life a lot easier, which we'll find out when we go through the process of shaving. According to Camille, the first essentials to a perfect shave are water and warmth. When hair absorbs hot water, it becomes softer and easier to cut. And with warmth, the skin and facial muscles become relaxed, making shaving much easier. So the best time to shave is after a bath or shower. This effect can also be achieved by soaking a folded flannel or small towel in hot water and wrapping it around the face for 30 seconds or more. Those who like a particularly smooth shave or have sensitive skin should apply a glycerin-based product. This protects the skin and helps the razor glide smoothly across the face. Massaging against the growth of the beard also helps to lift the beard in readiness for the lather. Using a good blade that has been warmed in the sink or under hot running water, shave the face in the direction of the beard growth, rinsing the blade in hot water frequently. Never shave against the grain of the beard. In awkward areas such as the chin or under the nose, the blade can be moved sideways across the growth but never against as this pulls the skin in the wrong direction causing small cuts and grazing to the skin and is the most common cause of razor burn, ingrown hairs and shaving rash. Rinse your face thoroughly with cool water and pat dry with a soft towel. A great proportion of men have incorrect shaving technique due to lack of time or interest. But with only minor changes to their morning regime, most could achieve a better, closer shave. Visiting his favourite gentleman's barbers in Mayfair. Fascinating haunting pictures around the wall, you know. There's always a fly in the ointment. I think they're going to give me a trim. And possibly a just a slap around the face. Facial. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm nice to meet you. Yeah. Oh. Wow. So much for London. Home of the and free. You are depressed, but you're remarkably dressed. That's all you need. But you're just too busy. So where do you normally live then? I normally live in Los Angeles. You can call it normal living. Quite like is it? Uh, yeah, but I'm not. I'm gonna have to take over. It's kind of like a maintenance routine with Morrissey. And watch the magic. He's undoubtedly very vain and spends an awful lot of time in front of the mirror with a hairdryer and a New York Dolls CD. Everybody has their own techniques. Here we are at GOF Trumper, just five minutes down from the hotel. Whether it be for business or just for pleasure, I recommend getting a wet shave. Hello, my name's Gary Stevens. I've worked at Trumpers for 20 years and I'm a gents barber. When you come to Trumpers, we look after you like royalty. You come in and you're pampered for half an hour and we use all Trumpers products. So when you walk out of here, you look like a million dollars. A king, I'm ready for my next appointment of the day at Edward VII's own barbers. Like roughly half the adult population, 
My day usually begins with a ritual that's frankly long since lost its charm, shaving. But I'm hoping that a more Edwardian approach to the chore will transform it from a tired routine to a pampering pleasure. The Edwardian gentleman would certainly never have dreamt of shaving himself. His valet attended him in the comfort of his own bedroom. I'm going for the next best thing, the services of professional barber Camille Ozturk. So here's your hot towel. The hot towel. Is that something I could sort out for myself at home? Very easily, actually. You wet a towel, wring it, scent it with a nice flavour, put it in the microwave from two minutes on very high. <laughs> in the microwave? The microwave, two minutes, really? very high, and it'll come out beautiful. And what's this going to do for my skin and my bristles? This is actually going to soften your bristles and make my job a hell of a lot easier. While the hot towel works its stubble softening magic, Camille prepares some shaving lather with a traditional badger hair brush. The brush lifts and exposes the bristles and exfoliates the skin. A natural soap continues to soften the bristles and is less harsh than synthetic shaving foams. It takes a little bit longer, I guess, than just squeezing it out of the aerosol, but do you think it's time well spent? I shave every morning this way. It doesn't take me very long at all. Seven minutes. Before the disposable razor was invented, shaving meant using a cutthroat blade. No surprise then that any man who couldn't afford a barber usually opted to remain bearded. I'm not sure I really dare take a six-inch cutthroat to my face when I'm sleepy in the morning. What are the best alternatives for me at home? Well, it's all in the preparation. Hot towels, softening, lavering. Doesn't matter what razor blade you use, you can get a, an amazing shave. It's just a cold towel. Mm -hmm. It's just going to close all your pores. Does that come out of the fridge? It has a lid. A final bit of pampering completes the experience which has convinced me to trade in my aerosol for a bit of badger. That feels very good indeed. How does it look? Very close. Thank you, Camille. Thank you. I reckon I've scrubbed up pretty well. And since I now have the face of an Edwardian gentleman, perhaps I should consider smelling like one. There are a lot of fragrances that we use in Edwardian times. So something quite typical might be the limes cologne. Oh, I like citrusy flavours. Just rub that, rub your palms together and have a little and sandwood. Mm. It's incredibly fresh. We put that on the hot towels when you're having your shave. Mm. It just really wakes you up in the morning. One of the other fragrances that was very popular was sandalwood. Plenty mm. of base notes in yeah, that. That's lovely actually. Yeah. Very nice. What else have we got? These are quite beautiful. This aster, quite a strong fragrance, because in that time they tended to commission the fragrances just for them. But this was actually commissioned for Lord this, Aster. Yeah, this was Lord Aster's. Whew, he liked the strong stuff, he did, Lord like Aster. Stuff. I think I prefer the sandalwood. I, I think for you, certainly the sandalwood. It's lighter and it's fresher. It's got far more modern scent. And limes. Limes is great in the morning. Sandalwood, perhaps in the evening. Let's take these. <laughs> 